good morning class, or, well, I, I suppose it'll be afternoon for you, but your goal tonight is to write your introduction, so when you're typing in the lab, it's not brand new information, you're just copying and hopefully making better what you wrote before. So, you should write your introduction. It should include most likely two paragraphs, but it could be one really long paragraph. It might be better to split it up, though. And the, that would include, you know, what is the purpose and goals. So hopefully you already rewrote those. Additionally, it's why would you want to achieve these, or why would a car company So why would a car company, and then this would be paragraph two, would include SDLs done that helped you. How and what did those SDLs teach you? So this is just, you know, write your introduction. You should be answering these questions. You probably already wrote these in your project proposal, hopefully. Um, and then this, I've been kind of saying it a lot. Really, this is SDL 11. There's probably some others that have helped you. This is probably your major one. You should talk about the equipment in this area. So all things you should include. So don't copy this down. You can. But really, write your introduction. This is what you should do. I know I have people who just copy what I wrote. But I'll be checking if you wrote an introduction. That is your homework. Also, if you already feel like you're good with graphs, you're done. But I'm going to transition to... If you need help graphing, <clears throat> if you don't, feel free to stop this video. Otherwise, this would be notes. <clears throat> Sorry, I think I'm getting a bit of a cold. So if you have, say, a data table, it's going to have some numbers in it. Um, and you need to graph them. When you are graphing, usually you'll probably start here at 0, 0. Sometimes if your numbers are so big, you'll have to break through and do them a different way. But you always want to count, so this is how many squares I have. However, you'll notice, oh, this, this goes up to 8. This side's going to be my forces. Time is always on the bottom. And then I want to write my units here, which would be seconds. This would be newtons. And my title will be force versus time. My first, let's see, for my time one, if I have a little more room, and I do, I can make it pretty easy where it just goes one, two, three, four, five. Five is my top number. That's where I should end at. Remember, space them based on numbers, not on your data table. This goes up to 8. So I can't just go 1, 2, 8. That would not be correct. I have to space them so that up here it hits about 8 somehow. So I go 2, 4, 6, 8. That's probably what I'm going to do because it seems like the easiest. So I'm going to count by 2's. 4, 6, 8, 10. So that's what I'm going to do. And now I can start plotting my points. I'll plot in blue. So my first point is 1 and 1. So it's going to be halfway. Next point is 2 and 2. Next point is 3 and 8. Next point is 4 and 2. Next point is 4 and 1. In this case, there's a pretty obvious 
line of best fit going on here that you should draw. This probably looks a lot like your forest graphs. So key points on this evenly label your numbers. That's my the biggest mistake I see is you want to write but do not don't write in your data points. So don't write in your data on your label, write in just easy numbers that go around it. Alright, hopefully this is helpful. We're going to really focus on graphing because I realized we need extra help. You will use graphing and reading graphs in your lifetime. Hopefully this helped. See you tomorrow.